Hello there, and uh, welcome to Nothing Cast. If you're new to the channel, this is a podcast that I do with my brother sometimes. Uh, we usually talk about movies or just kind of whatever we feel like. This week we're talking about uh, Avatar 2, Way of the Water, and um, just a fair warning for this episode, there is a, uh, there's a baby that's uh, making lots of noise in the background, and that's just uh, part of the episode. So, uh, if that doesn't bother you, I say stick around, because I think there's some cool and interesting uh, discussion points that we get into, uh, but if that is not for you, hey, I totally get it. Um, I recommend that you check out the link in the prescription for the whole playlist of all the Nothing Casts that we've done over the years. I think there's some pretty good ones in there. Either way, I'll be back again on Friday for another Teen Titans video, and uh, we'll see you then. If not, uh, we'll see you right now. Enjoy the show. Welcome, welcome, I guess, welcome to Nothing Cast. Welcome like, to Nothing Cast. Again? <laughs> um, again. It's been a little while. A hot, uh, hot sack here. Yeah. Now we're in first Nothing Cast of 2023. Yes. The new year. We, we're doing a boys' night today. We got all the boys here. We got all the boys. Um, and welcome to the first ever three hour nothing cast. A three hour. Oh, it's, this is going to be. Can we take breaks in between, or are we? Sure. I, going, I don't know. We're going straight through. <laughs> you know, I was telling when I was telling you that on the on the the phone before we were meeting there, yeah. I was I was kind of joking. I didn't know if you wanted to go for it. But we can totally go for it. I think three hours is kind of a long time. It's a, but there's a lot to unpack here. Like, oh, well. Yeah. E exactly. That's correct. <laughs> that's that's how that's how like. Fired up, I am right now. <laughs> it's basically that. So. Um, did you, uh, um, so yeah. So, yeah, we're going to talk about Avatar. We're talking about the new Avatar. New Avatar. Avatar, book two, water. Book two, water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed that I it's see... kind of following the cycle? Because the first one's about air. He's got to learn how to fly on the. I thought dragon. it was about earth because it's like a forest and nature. No, it's air. No, no, so got to fly okay, on the thing. Okay, you know what? He's Here's the, the thing: is that people are like, and now he's doing people, water. people so are like, the people are like, oh, like the next one, he's gonna have to learn how to like uh, climb. Uh, they're gonna go to like a volcano or some yeah. shit. Or yeah. Yeah. No, they're not. You know why? Because James Cameron just spent three hours setting up the blue people from the highest grossing movie of all time in his favorite location of all time, which is water. Which is underwater. He just, he just he put them in water. Do you think he's going to move them out of there yeah. one movie later? No, they're staying in the water place for the next four movies. Yeah. Because yeah. this is James Cameron's happy place, <laughs> is yeah. the water. If anything, they're going to go more into the water somehow. Exactly. The next one will be like entirely the, underwater. No, yeah, no, the third, the fourth movie will probably take place entirely underwater. Yeah. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. So what, what did you think of the movie? Um, there was, there's a lot to think. Yeah. And, it is um, long. it's long. That's, that's the first thing I thought was, wow, <laughs> this is a long movie. This is long. Um, and I think... Coming out of it, I I got like a few different like got a few different vibes here. I got like I got like Last Jedi vibes and like <laughs> Star Wars prequel vibes and like J.J. Abrams mystery box vibes. Yeah, I can see some and of that. like Cameronisms, but like dare dare I say it? I think James Cameron has gone off the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of liked it. <laughs> you like? Yeah. Oh, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's definitely a fun watch, and yeah. I'm glad I saw it. Mm. But I have so many problems with this movie. I mean, that's totally fair. And I. I don't think it's perfect. No, by any means. I might be. It might just be my own like, personal, like, like obviously I can't. I can't like say like something, you know, good, good or bad or whatever because like. What does that even mean, right? Like, right. It's, all I can say is, like, I watched something and this is how I felt when I watched it. Yeah. And so, And that's that kind of what informs a lot of, like, you know, my my opinion. Yeah, what's what's your kind of... Because, uh, like, we can, we can talk yeah. those, obviously. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll go for I think, for sure. I think, um... It's been awfully... I think, chatty. I think just... I don't know. I think just overall, the the, like... The, the grandness of it. It's like, it's pure, it, 
I also rewatched um the first Avatar. Oh yeah, I watched it as well. Um, again, and, and it's like, it's, it's pure. Avatar is pure. <laughs> yeah, it's pure cinematic escapism. Is, is, is what I wanna. Yeah, I wanna go. Yeah, what are you? Is that is that your drug? That's my drug. Well, because like, when was the last time a movie was just like it's just like a big old movie that's that's just gonna transport you to another world, and you're just gonna like we're just gonna live in this war uh, this other world, and that's gonna yeah. be the, the experience. Yeah, you know, like, um, it's like because it was like what Star Wars was trying to what be. What Star I guess, Wars was trying to do with like the recently, new ones, yeah. you know. Yeah. But then they kind of like I don't know got caught up in. Whatever they were a lot of, to Yeah, do. a lot of it's, you know, that one is, I've I've given that a lot of thought and the whole Star Wars thing. It's definitely just because, like, the new movies didn't have the same kind of sense of purpose and identity that the original trilogy and prequel, even prequel trilogy had. Because, yeah. like, prequel trilogy, Lucas is like, this is the story I want to tell and I'm going to tell it the way I want to. Mm-hmm. And then the, like, new movies are like, we're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it. And so that, the heart fun. wasn't there. And so when you, when, it, mm-hmm. when, Things were breaking down. There was nothing underneath it that yeah. was redeemable. Yeah, and I think this movie does have. It's got that heart, though. It does like, have that yeah. heart. It's like it. this was made by someone, someone who really so like, cares about really this cares project. Really cares about Yeah, and so that's what and I say about like prequel vibes. It really yeah. feels like it feels like both a someone really cared about it mm-hmm. and b no one stopped him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one told him, "Hey, maybe this part doesn't work. Do you want to change it?" Like, hey, how come? We're spending a billion dollars <laughs> making this movie that's completely underwater. How come nothing me. happens in the middle hour of this movie? Because they're building up the water tribe world, and the and we gotta see lots of shots of them being underwater. <laughs> learning, they gotta they gotta do the the learning arc that he did in the first movie, but now they're learning For about the water. But the thing, the I watched, but I okay, I watched the first movie yeah. again recently. And all the learning stuff, it's like, the movie has, like, it's just, it's just a way more cohesive movie. Like, yeah, start to finish. Because there's also, like, way less characters and stuff, too. That's the other thing. Because the first yeah. one is, it's about... I don't, think, I don't think the characters is the issue, I just think it's how the runtime is used. Like, you can have I mean, a lot of characters in a movie. Like, you, like think about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. How many mo- how many characters does that movie have? There's and the runtime is used well, so you just know who everyone is. Mm-hmm. This one, like, it's like most of the, like spots where character development is supposed to be in there it's like a screensaver <laughs> <laughs> that is the character development if i'm learning about them to be friends with the whales you gotta, be <laughs> be the whales. With, you gotta learn how to speak yeah. whale and you, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah um, well, i'm not yeah I'm the, not. Uh, okay the other thing yeah. is is just from the like special effects angle oh yeah for it's, me. it's insane it's yeah. so good looking it's ridiculous and i think every special effect in this movie makes the special effects from the first movie look like garbage yeah and the first one still looks pretty good yeah it still holds up it still like, holds up really well even yeah and it's like like for the longest time like for the longest time because i think we've been so oversaturated with like CG and CG that's gotten like kind of worse over the years because they haven't given the effects people enough time to work on. Yeah, it's on like CG. it's like oh, like this the shot will be cheaper if we do it in CG, so yeah. we won't plan it out while yeah. we're shooting it, and yeah. we'll make some VFX artists do it. Yeah, for like no time. Yeah, exactly. And so we've kind of like I feel like I've kind of gotten like oh, I don't like CG is like how I felt. And it's like no. It turns out I do like CG if it's good. Yeah, and it's it, like, I like if, anything if it's if good. It I like takes, any genre of movie if yeah, it's done well. Yeah, if like. it takes if you and it's like oh if you take ten years to do to work on your CG, <laughs> it looks really fucking good. <laughs> it just takes you ten years to do that. But yeah, I, so that was like one thing. It's like oh wow, like look at a movie that has like cool effects in it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, yeah. I just get to like, be in this in this other world and. No. All right, all right, Cameron. I'll I'll let you take the reins and yeah. transport me to. Yeah, the I think land even of especially it's 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 neat, especially coming off of like where I think the first movie, I felt like sometimes it was like, it was tricky to understand the like sense of scale between the Navi and the humans because 
there's very few scenes where they're actually standing next to each other because it looks right. kind of weird. And so yeah, they, try to, like, weird. they try to mitigate that as much as possible by having mm-hmm. Navi with other Navi yeah. humans with other humans for most of the movie. Yeah. And that's a good, like, it's a good thematic contrast even for, like, mm. I don't know, even, oh, even, like, all the scenes where he's just, like, he does this, like, He's going in and he's doing his like the like avatar stuff, and then he's just like he just wakes up and it's like th- yeah. this like through line where it's like it's like oh like I'm just like this like guy who's like living with a disability and like I kind of right. I kind of suck like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's like that stark contrast of like just what real life looks like versus this versus like this the CG fantastic fantastical world. CG world and that's what that first movie is about so yeah I think it, it it does that really well visually. Um, where was my point? Oh yeah, that um, that yeah, that I feel like they try to make it about. But in this one, they're like, you know, they have even less reason to have humans with them. But they're like, no, no, there's just gonna be a human character hanging right. out with, like, like Spider. It's like, oh, he's yeah. just gonna be with them most of the time, and you're not gonna even like think about it. Yeah, like, you're, not yeah. Give, you're not gonna give it a second thought. Like, no, it, it, it looks so. Good. It looks pretty flawless to me. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom. Um. <laughs> yeah, what did you what did you think of um general bad guy? General bad guy. <laughs> um I don't know. It's not even like I don't like I like him as a character. I think it's more like my my base issues with this movie I think are just like the plot as a whole. Because right. I thought I thought I understood what this movie was about. And then as it went on I'm like do I like wait what is happening like I thought I knew what the world of story was and like what the goals of our two kind of like mm-hmm. large groups of people were like the Navi and the humans like I thought I understood what was going on and then I'm like is that what's going on so like I love the like entire first act here's okay I'll, I'll yeah. get into so I love the All entire right. first act I think the setup is great it's like okay like the whole first movie happened and that was kind of like this like mining like science mission or whatever like it wasn't yeah. strictly military but they had military there for protection that was right. my understanding that, right that's kind of the first yeah movie, right yeah protection for protection, protection. Yeah, yeah in quotations right but <laughs> yeah. then you know it's yeah. it's uh, you know it's allegory for any kind of human you know yeah. advancement or anything kind of cool this time protection. when the humans come back and they've got like way more ships than they did last time yeah. and like they're like already like the right away they're like just from like landing they're like burning everything down and right. like it's like oh no like they're they're out for blood like yeah, this time right. it's not like this time it's personal this time literally it's like this time's personal <laughs> yeah. and they have more motivation than ever not just the personal connection but the fact that like you know earth is dying it's just like you know yeah we need to actually that was an implied we need to go full on yeah. full on co- co- colonize colonize yeah and so i'm like yeah. okay like i understand that mm-hmm. and then it's like one year later right and then you they do like the like that whole like train heist and stuff yeah. and I'm like and they're like stealing like weapons essentially right and so I'm like oh like this is like this is like a war like they've been yeah. in this for like a year now coexisting and they've just been using these like guerrilla tactics to like right. essentially Slowly. stop the human advancement as much as possible and this is the reality of it and then yeah so it's like the, the like and it's like it's not like it's not like the first movie because it's like they've got they've got Jake Sully and he right. he he's kind of like their inside guy and so because he's like fought in human wars and fought in Navi wars and like he's like the perfect leader because he understands all sides of this thing right like he's you know Jake Sully's the John Connor of this thing now like he's like you know like there's all these Cameronisms sprinkled in which I love yeah, like, yeah. I love all the Cameronisms oh, yeah. and like the bad guys are like I'm like oh this is like the team from Aliens like oh, these yeah. are the Marines we're gonna go <laughs> hoorah. <laughs> hoorah we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go kill all the aliens from the first movie like kind of deal and so that's like <laughs> That's kind of what the, you know, the, my, my understanding of what was happening was, was that this was like straight up, you know, um, and I was in, I'm like, okay, like, I like right. the world we've established here. And then they're like, oh, like we're putting the, I'm putting the people in danger. So I have to go. It's like, okay. Yeah. I understand that. Like, so, you know, Luke Skywalker, like I'm endangering the mission kind of shit going on here. Right. Like it's. Yeah. It, it may, like it makes sense when you're watching it, but then I'm like, so like if their their goal is to like take out the like the Navi, right? 
Right. But then... And they're like... Most ideal leader... Who is so good... They're like, he's, he's like... His battle strategy is unrivaled. And we haven't been able to stop him. He just leaves. He's not leading them anymore. He goes. Right. So why aren't they just going Why don't they just attack them, then? If that well, was they their... stop chasing big, Jake Sully? Yeah. When don't, he leaves... I thought yeah. the... Keep your eyes on the prize here. I thought the goal here was to kill all the Navi, not just one guy and his family. <laughs> that seems very personal and very, like... And so the rest of the movie, the villains waste all this time all and this resources time going after, going after one, one, guy one guy and his, his family. family. <laughs> and he's not even fighting anymore. He's not even a threat anymore. Right. And he's their best weapon. Yeah, he's the one that's been their big... But that's the thing is it's like... Right, so why are they spending... Why are they spending all this time? When they can go... Resources? I thought the problem was that they had this whole base of operations set up in the mountains. They're like, no, it's that wasn't the problem. The problem was that Jake was part of the base of operations. Yeah. Like... Well, why wouldn't they just keep doing their thing without yeah, him around? Yeah, it seems like it's wouldn't they know? Solved if I thought they would understand gone. the protocols of, you know, like he's, obviously he's not their, the most ideal leader, but they would, like, they're, oh, thank you. the person who's leading them wouldn't be him, but they would still have been there long enough that they can understand how to kind of keep doing things the way they've been doing them. Um, and so, like, right. Yeah, no, that's so there's still like a like, it's still a threat to them. Just because Jake leaves, that doesn't stop being a threat. Like Thank it's you. maybe less of a threat, but it's still in it, like an army of people living in these mountains who are like ruining their day constantly. Right. And so I thought the whole point of it was that they were going to try to kill them all, and so that's what I thought was going to happen in this one was that they would try to you know fight the people that he was all friends with, and then he'd have to bring the water people in, and they'd all have to work together to fight mm -hmm. the. Like yeah. it's a totally crazy yeah. forest water action scene. Yeah, I think maybe that'll be the next ones, but I think that yes, that is definitely a, a thing that I thought. And about so that's well. so that's that's what right. yeah, and that's the whole movie though. Yeah. It's just oh yeah. That. And so that's why I'm like I thought I knew what was confusing. going on, but apparently I don't. And like there's mm -hmm. these whaling people. And yeah, it's like whalers. this is it's apparently this is like the their like day job or something. Like this isn't like this isn't like a. They're like, oh, I got, I got quotas to meet. It's like, you're not just like, so like, you just, you already live here and it's fine? Well, yeah, the, <laughs> like, what's the, what's the, this isn't, <laughs> like, right. Yeah, it's, I think, um, so I think, yeah, I just, it's, it's just, you know, it could just be because I'm like stupid and I don't understand what's happening, but like, no, I think that it just took, it took me out of it because I wanted to, I wanted to yeah. know, I wanted no, I to understand the motivations right. of all the sides of this thing. And I really right. didn't as soon as the main plot started. Yeah. I think that's definitely a, a, a sort of thing mm -hmm. is that it's like, oh, we need you to take out this thing and then they leave and then, well, it's like, oh, that. I guess that problem solved itself, but, you know, yeah. but they don't treat it like that. They're like, oh, no, they, they're gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But yeah. I think it's also, like, because it's more about, this one's weirdly more about the individuals than the, like, greater scale of, like, what's happening. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of... Which doesn't which make in, sense because in, it's also bigger and like in crazier theory that scale. should make a better movie. Yeah. But I think that I think it's, it's definitely more complicated, and that yeah. doesn't necessarily mean it's worse or better. But mm. it definitely gets like, like, yeah, like I think it is. I think part of that might be a little bit intentional, mm. where um, <laughs> trying to figure out how this all goes together. There you go. Yeah, you figured it out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, but. Uh, because, because it's, I think it, I think that is part of it where it's like, um, so, so General Man from the first one is now a weird Avatar clone, yeah, which is a thing they can do now, yeah, it's just which like wasn't apparently that's which, just, which, because yeah. like that's the other thing. Okay, here's the other, here's one of the things that like sort of took me, well, not, eh, I still enjoyed it, but it took me out a little bit. Where so like, okay, so they bring Stephen Lang back, as yeah, a clone, yeah, which is like kind of fun but kind of contrived also, yeah, and it's like whatever. He's, it's, I'm kind of enjoying. Yeah. him but, anyway so whatever yeah. fine and then it's like and we're gonna also bring Sigourney Weaver back and it's kind of contrived and she's like a weird magic baby of yeah. the thing and she's part of the trees yeah or whatever. She, it's wondering it's like it's, it's wondering it's like it's it's like was is this like a like kind of like messiah thing where like right. they it's like oh like you know you're conceived of like 
God and yeah. a human, yeah, it's or this whole thing about, or is it like father? Or is it like, like, like her, her, her reincarnated because right. the whole point of that I thing was they were trying to put her soul into her, her body, yeah. and so yeah. maybe it maybe works, thing, but in but a not, different way. Not because, a way that's thought. Yeah. yeah. So I like that's. I wonder. I think they'll explore that. I'm I sure think, it'll be that. I'm thinking it's or something. Something along those lines. The second one because whenever people. They like plug into like the tree or whatever. Yeah. And they can they can they establish in this one that you can access your memories. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, like the memories. And of so your, when your ancestors her or weird whatever. daughter thing plugs in, mm-hmm. she's accessing Sir Gorney Weaver's memories, but the way I understood it was like they people only usually explore like their own memories is what right. I kinda of, and so it's like Yeah, so maybe she's she just... never sat down at a lab and did science as a human, like this blue chick now. But, you know, like I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I definitely, yeah. It is a contrived way to bring her back, but I thought yeah. she was a very interesting. No, but that's character. the thing. Is like it works. Yeah. The, the the only thing that's like weird for me is it's like because then the same with the the clone of the bad guy, right? Is like yeah. okay, whatever. We're bringing the bad guy back. Yeah. Oh, but now he's an avatar, which is the thing that like killed him. Yeah. And he's so he wants revenge, it's fun. but then yeah. it's kind of fun. Because mm. now he's like, oh, well, I'm going to be an even better avatar than Jake was. Yeah. And it's like, oh, but maybe, but also he has a son. Yeah. So maybe he is kind of redeemable or at the very least seems to have yeah. some, he care a little bit about his yeah. son, which is one more person that he cared about than in the first movie where he didn't care about anyone. Yeah. He was just they kinda, evil. I guess so they, they like, just, they added that he had a son yeah, at the, some point. There, I think it's like he... Yeah, at some point during the time he was there, he had a son, but it was a baby, yeah. um, and he wasn't worrying about it. Oh yeah, he's he like, wasn't oh, concerned yeah. with it because he's kind of I a shitty higher person. priorities. I gotta go hurrah this uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your tree. Yeah, and so I'm um, wondering. So I'm like, okay, well now he's much more interesting. Yeah. And same with the Sigourney Weaver baby, where it's like, oh, maybe she's like magic, and she can she can plant bend and she like, can, yeah, she can <laughs> connect you know. with. So I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. It's only like weird because it's like there's two separate occurrences of like a previous actor who definitely died in the first movie coming back to play like kind of the same character but kind of a new version of that character. I would would argue that 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 Kiri is a different character. Yeah, I mean that's fully different. Yeah, I think you can make that. Where it's like this is literally when the other one like this is literally the same guy. We just we put his. We put his memories put on a memory disk drive, in... like in Dollhouse yeah. or some shit. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm wondering, if you can just do that, why not make a whole army of him? Yes. Okay. So I have some theories about that. Because yeah. um, I'm reading the Dune books now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that'd be cool. I'd the be first. With that. So this is maybe some minor spoilers for some of the later Dune books. I, I'm fine. But, but I won't go into specifics. Um, I'll just say that. Um, so the first Avatar has a lot of stuff that's like, oh, this is kind of just Dune. Okay, um, okay, yeah. Because it's like, it's a, gu- it's a guy who, it's a white guy who goes to this other planet and like kind of gets involved with the, the native people of that planet. Yeah. And there's like a colonialism happening and he kind of ends up fighting against them, but maybe it's sort of a subversion of that all. It's a whole, it's, it's a trope that's been in lots of stuff. Yeah. John Carter you also kind of um, did that. What is it? Um, James Rolfe did a really good breakdown of the phrase Avatar is overrated. Yes. The Avatar retrospective, yes. and it's like, it's, yeah. it's perfect. So like, yes, I like that video a lot. And he's like, and he perfectly went, breaks down and he's everything like, about Avatar. Yeah, and he goes through as like, a retrospective. He goes through like, well, everyone said like, it's a complete ripoff of Dances with Wolves, and it's a complete ripoff of Pocahontas, and it's a complete ripoff of Last Samurai. It's, it's like, a how can we rip off of all, all these different see. movies? Yeah. It's like, because it's just that's what most movies are. Because that's just what movies are, and that's just what stories are. And lots of times in history, white people have gone to another place and, like, exploited and colonialized them. And yeah. sometimes some people have been more sympathetic to the people that have been colonialized, you know? So, yeah. so it's just like a story that's happened no, a lot it's a, it's throughout a good, history. It's a good story. And it's, it's a really, good yeah. story that Even resonates with people. District so 9 has an element of that. District 9 well. also has part yeah, of that. Dune, think, yeah, like Dune does it. John Carter does a little bit of it. It's a thing. Uh, um, if you 
Lawrence of Arabia, if you've ever seen that. Um, no, no. It's I, also I, kind of that story. It's really good. Yeah, I've seen uh, um, some scenes of it. Like, Yeah, there's some like crazy battle sequences where oh, it's like, yeah. oh, that's just like a thousand people riding horses. In a desert. In a desert. Yeah, and that's no. how the, yeah. they just filmed oh, that. And there's, like, like, a, wow. there's like a train heist. There's a crazy point. train heist that's, that's really like cool. like a real train they like blow up. Yeah. It, that's actually very similar to the scene in, in Avatar 2 where they yeah. about do the train heist thing. Yeah. Um, no. I like that it was like, I think... I think it's train heist done well because it was they didn't make a big deal about it like you haven't seen it before. They're right. Just like, there's like, it's just yeah, here it is. We're just throwing it out there. Yeah. It's happening. This is and cool. It's, and it's mostly to like set up some specific yeah. arcs with his yeah. kids and stuff. And like, oh, now my kids are like more in okay. danger. What do you mean arc? What what arcs? Like, well, like okay, this the very basic arc of. I mean, I don't know if it's an arc, but more of a dynamic of like. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, no, so it's, he has the it's two. Total, it's total foreshadowing. For it's him. foreshadowing. Yeah. It's the two sons. Yeah. The one is the one that's the older one, and the other one is the one that actually gets like some development. Yeah. <laughs> and the older one is supposed to be the one that's in charge, and the younger one's the one that's like a little more risk taking. Yeah. Um. But uh, oh yeah, I was gonna go talk about Dune a little bit. Yeah. So cool. in, so yeah, in um in the later in some of the later Dune books. Um, we have a character that's very similar to the clone of um, uh, the bad Stephen guy. Lang, yeah. Stephen Lang. Stephen That shows up. And that's a clone of one of the previous characters who died. And it's like, oh, he's a really good fighter, so we made a clone of him. And now he's going to be, like, a big deal. Yeah. And then apparently, like, way later on in the series, they make, like, a bunch of clones of him. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> to make, like, an army of him. Yeah. So, so it's like, well, yeah, why couldn't you do that? Maybe they will. I don't so, know. Yeah, this is Maybe what, they're just going for, we're doing Dune, but with blue people Here's what instead. I think they're doing. They're going to go, so if, if Cameron is interested in following his own MO, which I hope he is, uh-huh. I think it'll be really fun if, Somehow along the way, he made both of these things happened, which is you you have a the full army of evil Stephen Langs uh, in the blue, blue Stephen Langs right. as a full army, but that the one introduced in this movie somewhere along the line, like maybe he like gets tricked into like plugging his ponytail into the tree of souls or something, and he ends up turning good. And so you have right. you have like basically like Arnold and Terminator two, and then a whole army of Terminators <laughs> yeah. is what you would have. And I think that'd be a really fun dynamic to have. Yeah, yeah, be fun. Stephen Lang as a blue guy working with Jake Sully as a blue guy, and they gotta fight a bunch of Stephen Langs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bunch of hoorah! Yeah, and so the whole that's, army of hoorah. that's the thing is that it's like this this movie. It's like I'm I'm yeah. still invested in the franchise as a whole, but right. I'm frustrated by the fact that this is clearly a middle episode. Right, yeah, that's the other thing, right, is that this is, like, very much, like, well, this is what happened for this chapter, and then tune in next week. <laughs> tune in next week. Because... <laughs> we'll get you next time, Gadget, like, you yeah, like... Yeah, the, kind of most of the... the villain gets away. The villain gets away. Yeah. Pretty much all the heroes get away. Like, the one thing I was thinking before this one, I was like, oh, man, one thing I really like about James Karen is how he always kills off, like, several of his main characters. Like, in the first one, I guess most of the heroes make it out, but, like... Oh, they Michelle kill, Rodriguez. They kill off Michelle Rodriguez dies. and Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver dies. Th- that that one um, guy who was supposed to marry Natiri. Oh, he, yeah. He so conveniently die, dies, so. so he's out of the picture, but it still like helps to kind of raise the stakes. Yeah, so yeah. They, they were... kill off all the main villains, pretty much. Like there's a there's a yeah. good amount of dead main characters that like make it feel oh, like. Oh, Natiri's father big deal. dies. Natiri's father dies. Yeah, there's like several. Yeah. Um, so it's like, yeah, okay. This felt like it had like some weight to it. And then in this one, um, his son died, but not the one you like, the one that was also there. <laughs> the <other> one. <laughs> I don't even it. like the other one. <laughs> well, I'm like not the one that like actually yeah, got one screen who, time yeah, and like some development. Yeah, it's the other one. So I guess he's just like a plot device. Yeah, to make it's like you could have. Oh, so he was kind of there just to get killed off. Yeah. But also that's because this that's part partly part of that is because this one is. Um, you know. Chapter two of seven or whatever, however many movies he's doing make. five. I guess five is the Four goal. Four or five, which, if you, which I'm actually, I'm actually like, okay with that because it means that he's got it all planned out. Because like, if he's if you've 
If I learned anything from the new Star Wars movies, it's that if you don't plan it out, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> yeah, it's so be that good. if it's still like one person's vision and he's got it all like figured out, it'll at least be as good as the Star Wars prequel trilogy, which was <laughs> yeah. like still to this day very entertaining and very original and crazy yeah. as far as what it did for special effects. And so I think it's the new it's the new Star Wars prequels where yeah. these movies are incredible, like from a special effects standpoint. Um, but like story wise, I don't know if it's always there. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's hard to tell for some stuff because yeah. some stuff is like, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. And so like that's, some, that's yeah. the thing is that it's like you can you can kind of justify it as like you can see where it's gonna go, but also it's like, what if it was just good in this movie? Though? <laughs> what if you just made a good movie? <laughs> yeah, but, also. Well, I liked it. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's just me. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I just well, like maybe seeing I'm, weird maybe, blue people. <laughs> I mean, I'm just better and cynical. I don't know. <laughs> I just, for me, it was like I just. I, I think a lot of what I was saying earlier. I think just kind of took me out of the movie. Was yeah. And, and the, it, no, there's definitely some know, problems. Yeah, I'm not or it's like and then they, they, where they're like, oh, it's the, it's the same thing where we need like whale juice to like to <laughs> yeah. fund everything. It's like you, you still need that to fund. I thought that you were. I thought you were in. Like you were just. This wasn't. Well, I thought it was a commentary on like. The American military and like just how America does anything, where it's like, oh, if we want well, like, to like, fund like science, like you gotta go run for relay for life or whatever. But like military, screw that. I'll just throw money on that. That's military. Like, so I yeah, thought that's what was need, going on. You know. Well, they still need money to to do, to do a colonialism. To do a colonialism. And to, and to and it's also like it's it's you know, yeah. it's it's ultimately fueled by capitalism, right? Like. We're invading this place because they have resources that we can use, right? Yeah. Like, also, our planet is dying and we're going to eventually take over, but yeah. there's also, like, lots of resources that we can use. And also, it would be more, yeah. it would be easier to get those resources if we lived, if we eventually lived here and, like, that kind of stuff. Um, I guess, yeah, so I'm into that, but then also just that a lot of... It does get, like, complicated, this though, is, cause it's yeah. like, it's, yeah, it's like we set up this one... It's weird, because it says that they set up this one military force, and they're, like, the ones that are the bad guys. And then they like go out to the into the ocean s- setting, and then they meet these Australian whalers, and they're there also, and they're like, "We're gonna commandeer your whaling stuff," and that gets a little complicated. Yeah, it's a little. I got I got a little muddled on like yeah who, who the bad guys were and why they were bad, and what they all wanted, and why that mattered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's also like weird stuff too where some weird world building stuff too where it's like oh the the whale juice um it stops human aging that's what n- that's <laughs> not that's not important in this what and it doesn't matter at all it's like um sorry could you say that one again yeah it just stops human aging Wh- what <laughs> yeah so it's like you're it's starting to get like, like yeah the mcguffin's it's getting like into kurtzman territory here Mac- yeah mcguffin's like too powerful almost it's like the other one was just like none of this matters. <laughs> they, they, they found the cure to <laughs> to mortality. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. the first one was simple. It's like you it's understand. Like we got this like, rock. It's, it's a precious. It's a precious metal. That's like, it. You you can you can. I think that it's called simple. unobtainium, which is dumb, but yeah. it's not really about no. what it's called. It's just it's like simplicity. It's these very simple ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if they were like, if they were. If, yeah, if they just explained what it was with something else, I think it would have been fine. Like, if it was like, it cures cancer. It's like, okay, I could see how that could be very valuable. Yeah. And, like, you know, certain companies would be like, hey, we got the cure for cancer. It's only a million dollars. Please give us money or whatever. Yeah. Like, that stuff felt kind of weird. <laughs> but, yeah, just them, and then, like, throwing that line away. And then like no. yeah, there's a lot. Of I'm th- sorry. What? Can you come back to that? And that's the thing. Yeah. Is that's not the only throwaway yeah, thing in this movie. This. It's like we've got these spider robots that can build a building in a day and a half. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't come into play. Don't worry about at it at all. No, that line does not need to be just, in the movie. It's just world no, building. No, the visual storytelling yeah. was already there though. We already saw these spider robots building buildings. Like, oh yeah, I guess that's faster than the human workforce. Right. We don't need that line. There's like, it's you can look at this like the contrast between, and then. I, I don't know, like, I get that it's, like, important to the plot that they go and 
the bad guys go and kill this whale or whatever. But they're like yeah. explaining in detail every single freaking thing they're doing. Oh yeah, and it's yeah, like, it's it gets a little weird because it's, it's like so, it's so overly expositional. It's like why didn't you just show me kill this whale? Like just show me that you don't have well, to kind of you don't have to yeah. tell me what's happening. tell you what's as happening. it's happening. Yeah. I you think the play by play as if I don't understand that a harpoon yeah. is gonna kill something. I feel like Avatar has this like weird line with it. Yeah. The first one is well, where it's like. It wants to be, it kind of wants to be this like really just out there weird alien world that you've never seen before. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like this crazy world that you've never seen before where people ride horses. Yeah. And it's like, I know what a horse is. Like, yeah. it's not that weird. Is, I, I liked that aspect of it. Yeah, so it's, it's the Star Wars thing where it's right. like. It's like a thing you know, but it's different. Yeah. Yeah. What like, a piece of junk. It's like, oh, it's a shitty car. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I'm like about. Yeah, sometimes it works really well, I think. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's like mm. kind of weird, yeah. and I think part of it is them like, oh, we're afraid that people are gonna like that's like the thing about how in this one they're just like, uh, they it sounds like English now. They just speak English now, where it's like it's not they're not literally just speaking English, but to Jake Sully, he's learned the language so much by this point that it just to makes, him it, it makes sounds it like for English. You as an audience so it makes experience. it easier for you as an audience, so that when you're watching this at. 48 frames per second in 3D, and it's a bunch of blue people jumping around. You don't also have to read Papyrus, the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly. like, okay, I appreciate that choice. Yeah, so that's, that was it, a really you know, great choice, I think, for this movie, because it's, so, yeah. it's the least distracting thing. Exactly. You know, like, there's some stuff that's like, maybe we just need to give, maybe we just need to go a little easy on the audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which maybe they go too far in some aspects, which I, I don't agree Yeah, because that, that whale sequence is like, you kind of get it just from them showing yeah. up. But then there's the guy being like, here's the first yeah. step of the whaling, and here's where we load the harpoon, and this is what the harpoon does, and <laughs> we got to hit it in this spot, because that's where the armor yeah. is less good. Or well, it's like you could just have, like, I don't know, in, in, in like, like, the first one, and Star Wars, like, it's like, the armor's too strong for blasters. See if you can trip them with your tow cables. It's two lines that tell us everything we need to know about what's going to happen. Yeah. And it's also like, oh, he threw his chains over. It's in the middle of an action scene, so you're not, like, bored. <laughs> like, right. And then, yeah, and it's and, more interesting because it's, like, it's, them it's, trying to solve the problem yeah, versus, the, like, the, the, it's the, just the exposition other thing, and the other, Yeah, and the, the other thing is this start. whale scene is supposed to be, it's supposed to be the, the home tree scene from yeah. the first movie. You can tell because but they play the home tree. Because you play the home tree scene. <laughs> it's like, and, but instead of it, like, um, you know, like, is it's, it's, it's not, it's not the same thing for a yeah. lot of reasons. One is that, like, the, we, we just learned what these whales were, like, what, 20 minutes ago? Half an hour? I'm not yeah. sure why, they're, uh, and I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't know why they're important to these people. It seems they're, like they're just kind of friends with them. Because they're friends with them. That's why they're like intelligent, and they're like they have so their own like, like language and so culture like, and stuff. It's like so. It's like you killed my friend. Yeah. Like it's like personal. To yeah. Them. They don't necessarily have like a meaningful. Yeah. Relation like it's not like yeah. they killed our house like it is in yeah. that one. Like burn their house down. Burn their and house down. And a bunch of people. And murder a bunch of people in the process. It's yeah. like you killed my friend. Yeah. Who I knew and like had a relationship. Yeah, but I didn't. With. I didn't. They didn't show me that. But they just told me that they, they did. Were I mean, they tell. Well, they like, they do. They're friends. And they hang out. They have one scene where they're they, like, hi whales. Hi and whales. then And then the next scene, they kill the whale. Yeah, and so well, it's don't like feel I, bad. But the whale had a little it's baby more, whale. No, so, don't so you it's, feel more, bad. it's more cheap emotional manipulation than actual, like you know, things. Moment. It wasn't an yeah. earned a moment for me. Well, the what about was, when the cool badass whale that he be, the outcast that he becomes friends with jumps on the ship and starts smashing stuff? I thought that was pretty fun. That was that was really fun. <laughs> I loved that. And I don't. There's. Why yeah. did they have this whole thing where the whale was like an outcast? Like that doesn't really come into play. Like it's just like because he feels like he's an outcast because he has an extra finger and no one understands him. Yeah. Even his dad. That's that. interesting thing is that in the I didn't even notice that until I, I rewatched Avatar. I'm like, oh, I guess oh, yeah. they do. I yeah, guess yeah they the Avatars have, have extra fingers, oh, I guess they, but the Navi only have yeah, four. Because they're they're the mix of the human. They're a mix of DNA. So, DNA, so I'm like, oh, I guess of... they have the four fingers. And yeah. then in this one, that's like everyone's got like. 
your freaking panties in a twist over if you have four fingers or not. Yeah, but you know how petty humans are about like oh, racism yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. It, it doesn't make any less so, sense than yeah. racism. I just like, thought it was interesting that it was not. It wasn't even touched on the first movie, but it was just right. a detail that was there. And this one, it's like a big deal for real person. No, that's not even like that's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just yeah. a thing. And I just thought that was interesting. Yeah, I think it's well. I think because it's like they're they're also from another culture. Right, so yeah. they're already kind of different because they're like these ones are teal and they have like web. They're like, designed to swim. They have, they have swimmer yeah. tails and yeah. stuff. So it's like that on top of, and you don't even have the right amount of fingers, you don't have. <laughs> yeah. It's like not yeah. only are you is your tail stupid, yeah, but so also like, like it's just like piling on top of the thing where this guy. I I kind of like that. I don't know. It's this, <laughs> maybe just because I've seen it a couple times now. So, like, the guy who like he already kind of doesn't fit in because he's got an extra finger or whatever. Yeah. And then he goes to this other place where he really doesn't fit in. Yeah. And now he extra doesn't fit in. They're like high school prank. He's like, let's go kill this guy. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just gonna leave him for. I thought like it was day. gonna be like, oh no, we like. They, like, robbed a convenience store together, and then he's the only one that got arrested. Like, it wasn't like that. It's like, no, like, he's, he's just, we don't know where he went. We don't know where he went. Well, they didn't know he was going to die. Sure they did. I guess. They took him out to, like, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but there the wasn't, dangerous animals. they didn't necessarily know they were. That the 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 big fish was gonna attack and that the bigger fish was gonna oh, yeah. attack. And that's, I don't know. I guess that's like <laughs> I don't know. in addition to like my like so my viewing experience was like one yeah. part like me trying to figure out like why anything is happening why, and where this is all going and, and then like, yeah. and then on top of that it's mm-hmm. like you get the same interaction like probably about five or six times where. Jake's kids are like, let's go do this thing. And yeah. one of them's like, one or more of them's like, maybe we should And then the other one's like, well, maybe we'll we should And then it happens, and it goes bad, and then, and then they get a stern talk. And they're like, oh, no. And then they just do it all over. And, just and that's like, this is a three-hour movie, and that's like most of the runtime. Yeah. It's just that happening well, over and over again. Have you ever met a teenager before? <laughs> no, it's just like, but it was exhausting to watch. Yeah. And I think there's a fine line between like, and that... Um, you can see between like the first like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man versus the like Tom Holland Spider-Man, where when your character is doing the wrong thing, they have to be fully under the impression that they are doing the right thing. And so right. when Tobey Maguire is doing the wrestling match and stuff, you you know he's in it for the car and the money and Mary Jane, and that's what you see. You see all that from mm-hmm. his perspective, and you yeah. understand like oh like he's kind of just having a bit of a spat with Uncle Ben right now. You don't think this thing is going to get Uncle Ben killed. Like, right. there, there's no concept of, like, he's not like, I'm going to go, like, point guns at Uncle Ben with some people. Like, it's like, they're they're totally, like, you under, you'll, you're fully invested in why Peter is doing this thing. And mm-hmm. you're on board with it. Where, like, anytime Tom Holland Spider-Man does something, it's like, that's dumb and you're dumb. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. I am dumb and it is. <laughs> and so yeah, it's, yeah. it's the same thing with this movie yeah. where... That, that line is going, it's encroaching on, wait, no, you're just dumb and I'm not on board with what you're right. doing. Where in the first movie, you got Jake Sully, who's, he's, yeah, he's supposed to be there to, like, basically tell them to leave. And, like, he kind of he's kind that. of in the process of, like, but it's yeah. it almost feels like when you have bad news for someone and you're just procrastinating and yeah. telling them because you just like being around them. Like, mm. and it's like, that's something we've all been there before with. Yeah. I do think it's a much, it's a better, it's a better, it's a much more relatable mistake, I feel, than like, you know, yeah. than the same thing happening over and over and over again. I mean, and, I guess. And, and I don't know if he learned his lesson because he does that for the whole movie. The whole movie, yeah. Even at the end, they're like, well, stay with, he- stay here. And then he's like, no, I'm going to go save my dad. And so it's like, sometimes yeah, but, it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, so I what think, was the point of any of so it? So what was it? Um, well, I think it's because... <laughs> that's my, that's my I don't think it's as black and white as like oh because he's not always wrong like that's what that kind of, but there was no there wasn't a general progression of like he make he slowly makes the more right decision as the movie goes along I th- he's not put in the same position at the I beginning think of the movie is. as he is at the end and makes the opposite choice that's an arc yeah but it's not that kind of an arc it's like <laughs> what is it it's it's because it's it's not just an arc for him; it's an arc for Jake as well, because Jake has to realize that his kid is like sometimes his kid is competent, is competent yeah. and can accomplish. And knows what's right and all that. But 
He just spent so much time not being right that I, yeah. I found it trouble being convinced that he was. <laughs> you, it felt like it was by yeah. chance that he happened. That he happened not right that he right actually right. learned anything. I mean, that, because he acted the yeah. exact same way in every situation. He was headstrong through the whole thing. And so at the end, he's headstrong, but he happens to be. Right. It feels like coincidence. <laughs> I mean, I get yeah. I so that's and that's not that's obviously someone else. Is, like you're saying, you, you had fun with it, and you weren't thinking about that. That was just my. I, I wasn't as hypercritical because I was just like, wow, look at how yeah. good the CG is, and look yeah, at these, look I, at how cool these whales are. I was thinking about that as well. It's. And I think that I. I think there's more. I think there's a lot more interesting stuff in this one. Yeah. Than in the first one, even if some of it doesn't work fully, because the How first do you, one's like, what do you mean like interesting? Because the stuff? first one's like really basic. Yeah. Um, like Jake Sully is a man, and, <laughs> and and he's gonna learn to be not racist, and then he rides the big dragon and saves the day or whatever. Yeah. And that's like fine, right? But then it well okay because the okay so the first one's like sort of a uh, we're sorry. We're sorry about colonialism. Sort of a white savior kind of thing. And yeah. It's sort of a dune. It's sort of a Pocahontas. It's sort of a whatever, right? Dances of the Wolves, Foreign Gully, all the center, etc. But it kind of ends in, in. I was thinking about this. It ends in a similar way to the way the Lorax movie ends, mm. where it's like instead of being like, oh. Isn't it kind of sad that this thing happened? Instead of doing that, it or like, is it, now it's up to you to solve the problem mm -hmm. that has been, you know, mm -hmm. going on for a while. Instead of that, it's like, yay, we defeated the invaders. Yeah, yeah. We defeated the humans and they left Earth and now Pandora is safe and it's just Navi and the cool, not racist humans, a few of them get to stay because yeah. they're cool and not racist. And we did it and we fixed colonialism and all those problems are gone. Yeah. And it's like, and you kind of leave the theater being like, yeah, I did it. The rainforest is saved. And it's like, <laughs> you didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so you like that it kind of ends a I kind of like that this open. one is like more and more morally ambiguous because it's like, oh, but actually then they came back later and now they're like mad. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then Jake like, okay, well, I, me fighting them is like just putting my family in danger and maybe I'm actually causing more of a problem here. So I'm going to leave and go join this other tribe that's out in the water, is far away from them, they probably won't even bother us here. And then they like, eventually do, yeah. and it's like, is he helping anyone anymore? Because like the first movie's like, wow, he's like the best Navi, and he rides the big dragon, and he yeah. saves the day, yeah. and he made the lives of the Navi better overall, even though he oh, yeah. kind of also was part of the people that killed or, them. Or now it's like, is he just But now it's like, is he worse? making everything worse? Because yeah. he's just like... Well, I didn't fix it here, so I'm just going to leave and join this water tribe. And now they're, like, involved in this war that they had nothing to do with before. Yeah. So, you know, is he helping anyone? Yeah. I don't know. He's more morally ambiguous, and I yeah. think that's interesting. And I think that's more true to real life and the types of stories they're, like, drawing from. Is like... Because if you're just, like... Yeah, colonialism is bad. It's a good thing this white guy saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, that's kind of a weird message. Mm -hmm. But if it's like, oh, colonialism is bad, and yes, this one white guy is like on the side of the Navi or whatever, but he's also involved in a weird way, and it's like kind of more mm -hmm. complex. I don't know. I just found the ideas a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. And same yeah. with like the bad guy. It's like, now the bad guy, it's like, because the other thing with like the first one is it's like, it's like kind of weird that it's like, the main hero of the story is a white guy pretending to be a, in, like, blue face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, the one white guy is going to be the one who's the best at being native and, yeah. <laughs> and rallies all of them and is, yeah. you know. But this one is like, well, maybe that's actually an interesting idea because now the bad guy is, the blue, is, a, is also a blue guy mm -hmm. and he's going to try to be the best at being the native guy in order to be better at colonialism, you know, yeah. <laughs> to be better at, like, being racist. Yeah. And it's like, oh, now that's, like, we're subverting that idea, and it's, yeah. like, kind of interesting. So, those kind of ideas, like, stuck out to me more. Yeah. I, I guess I wasn't thinking about, like, the overarching plot that much. Yeah, no, it's just, it wasn't even, like... And, like, I, was, and I was also, like, just, like, <laughs> wow, a big dumb movie that has really good effects. Oh, yeah, no, it was I for forgot, sure, for sure a I can't fun, even think of, like, the last time a fun movie and seen great that. special effects. It's just, it's kind of like fridge logic almost. Oh, for there's sure. There's just a lot yeah. of, oh, yeah. there's just a lot of that in this movie, so, yeah. I think it's, will, and it's not I even like, agree. I, 
I find it frustrating when people are like, oh, you're looking for things to hate. It's like, no, like, it's just you watch something and you have an emotional reaction to it. And this right. is my emotional reaction. This <laughs> right. is where it was coming from. Was this, I was just involuntarily thinking about all of these things while I'm watching this movie because understanding what's happening is why I enjoy movies, more or less. Right. Unless it's like some mystery thriller or something. Like, Memento, part of the enjoyment is you don't know what's happening. But, like, just for most movies, I just like to understand what's happening, who wants what, and why, and why yeah. so that I can be, like, get on board with things, <laughs> so that, and that's where a lot of times, like, you know, trying to, like, yeah, and then there's, I guess, yeah, just, like, a, an element of, like, just, like, I don't know, almost, like, waiting for something to happen, kind of in the middle of it, where right. I think about the, like, watching, I watched the first one again, Oops. and, like, I think I might just also be mind blown by how much that one actually holds up yeah and I think it's the fact good. that I, I watched it on my phone and the emotion was still there like that's pretty good and like you know that there's I can't like I can't think of a scene in the first I think in the, the new avatar that's as intense as the scene where the bulldozers like destroying that tree and Jake's like Oh, yeah. Got his unconscious avatar yeah. body there, and he's like, you know, and Grace is like, oh, you gotta eat your breakfast. And yeah. He's like, oh, I guess I do. Like, yeah, yeah. unbeknownst like, to yeah, him, we're yeah, like, yeah, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, get your yeah. frick. Oh, like it's yeah. it's it's such an intense scene. Yeah, and it's a great moment, scene. and that's when all the the bad stuff starts to go mm -hmm. down. Um, and I think I don't know. There's just there's a lot more like I think I think the first one it's 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 grip me and it's simplicity. There's all this like setup and payoff where like. Right. They, they, there's the bit at the beginning where there's the one rhino and he's like, ah, that's scary. And she's like, yeah, you should like, like that's, you know, just try to stand your ground, but like, don't shoot it because that won't work. And then at the end, like there's like a bunch of them and you're like, oh, I understand what those are and right. why they, you know, there's this, this through line of like nature and connectedness and everything working together to, you know, stop machinery. And like the, when I, when I watch it, I don't think about like, oh, he's, He's the best blue guy because he's the white guy. Like I'm more thinking about <laughs> yeah. from his like personal standpoint. Yeah, like yeah. he's been you know fighting in wars his whole life, and this is the first time he like actually knows that he's doing the right thing. And right, like, yeah, he's, he's yeah, that's, fully, that's that's this thing about his like arc. his his conflict of like yeah, is he, gonna, talks about is he gonna get his he, he can he can invest in his human life and get his legs back, or he can join this this whole other culture and completely change everything that you know he knows about his reality and so there's just this no I, yeah no i think there is uh a lot of yeah there's just cool a lot stuff and, in and like sure. the, even just the like the environment in the first one there was like a few different kind of locations they went to where it's like it's, it's like a, oh this feels like a big planet but it's like you got the, the home tree and the forest and the cliffs with the dragons and the cliffs with the magnets and the yeah. like it's just like there's a few different spots and you kind of you kind of get an idea of stuff where it's like this one I'm like, is this like is this a beach with like 50 meters of ocean that you explore and that's it like yeah but look at how cool that one <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's cool I, yeah i guess i just i wanted yeah. a little more dynamic and then there's like some other cliffs they go to they're not supposed to be there and like i felt it a little less dynamic especially right. when the yeah. the beach it's it's all using um 180 degree rule and so because the beach is always on the left and the water is always on the right and that's yeah. the whole movie it feels a lot less expansive when right yeah we're just gonna be on this one beach i guess and they never go inland too far and they never go out water too far right or explore cool like they never do anything with tides where it's like oh in this part of the day the tide goes down and so all these like cool yeah. creatures show up right they, they never do, do they, there's yeah, no, there's really. no cool they do a little like, bit. caves with glow in the dark animals. They do a there's, little bit with like, oh, the eclipse is happening and now the trees yeah. are glowier or whatever. Yeah, but, yeah the, the fact that they, they touch on even that right, that's they, how, yeah. I'm guessing that's an idea he wanted to have more prevalent in the first movie, but that's just how their like sun cycle works. It's because Pandora's right. the moon. Yeah, cause, but yeah, Pandora is actually the moon yeah. or whatever, or it's the moon of Pandora. It might be an Endor situation, I don't know. Yeah, and so when they, they're, they're, on they're the revolving around a planet and the so planet, when they, so they, they the, sun so the sun rise and sets looks like a moon like a big planet moving in front of them yeah which is interesting so. yeah 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 so they would be having eclipses all the time because the planet is so i'm guessing that bigger. like the navi their 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 eyes would have been kind of evolved for that to like look directly uh, at it because for us like humans we can't do that we oh can't, I, yeah we can't yeah, look at eclipses and so i'm guessing evolutionarily they would just like well, you don't have to look right at it when there's an eclipse. No, but like it's like I guess it's just like <laughs> if you look at the sun, it hurts your eye. Like yeah. it's like the same thing. Or that's their sunset. It's just mm -hmm. this big 
eclipse looking thing. So like that's yeah. a that's a cool idea. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like how it kind of visually. Oh, now it's in the third act. So now the eclipse is so now it's darker. And yeah. <laughs> oh, even the the whole the the one scene where, and this is this is back when I was like still in because this is like only the second time the kids had gotten into trouble. Right. Where the the bad guys have captured all the kids. And it's yeah. the only this is the first time they yeah. captured all right. the kids. Also, yeah. so it's not still right. Yet. So it's not yeah. It's not, and, yeah. And they yeah. even like kind of point that out. It was like, oh man, I got tied up again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sure, I sure shouldn't be brought on any of these missions. Yeah. <laughs> and that they're so they've the bad guys have all the kids and it's yeah. And the forest is getting dark and it starts raining and then yeah. yeah. Jake and Natiri are gonna yeah. like you're like oh like, yeah. these guys are getting fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> and it's great. Did you like the part when Natiri stabs the one guy with the arrow and then lifts him up and shoots the arrow through oh, him with the other yeah. guy? Yeah. I that was later, but yeah. yeah. That was another thing I. <laughs> <laughs> like through like this isn't a good or bad thing. It's just funny to me. I yeah. I felt really bad for an interior in this one because I feel like she's like, like you know, processing things the way like, like, I think women are more inclined to where it's like the man thing is to like not process your emotions right away and do what's most practical in that situation right. so you can survive it. Right. And then process your emotions later. Yeah. That's the the big problem with a lot of men is they don't process. They, they forget to do the second. They part. They forget to do the second. Part. <laughs> yeah. Where women is like, I'm like, yeah. I'm a mess right now. Yeah. And I can't I do that. Now, and Jake's like, No, you gotta be a man with me. Yeah. Don't process your emotions. We're gonna go. We gotta, we're go, kill we're gonna go ruin someone's day. <laughs> and that's what yeah. he drags her through that the entire movie. Yeah. He's just he's just beating the yeah. the emotional humanity out of her. It's like stop being sad about leaving our home. Stop being it's sad the right thing to do. It's the most practical thing to shot. do. Yeah. Stop being sad and just be a man instead. And it's just like by the end she's just like her she's mental like state is, out. Yeah. is so deteriorated versus what she was at the beginning of the movie. And I was yeah. like I feel so no, bad. I, I felt bad for her. Yeah. She, she also, like, I think she's really cool in the first one. And, oh, like, yeah. until that scene where she stabs a guy with the arrow and then shoots him with another guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she doesn't, didn't really get to yeah, do she's very much in the second one. Yeah. But that's because it's, like, also about their kids more or whatever. Yeah. Sure. Um, I think, yeah, which even... Here's... Sorry, say your bit. Oh, sure. Um, here's a tangent about Nutiri. Um, so... What are you saying? Did you know that she's actually really cool and I like her a lot? Um, uh, so, James Cameron... Well, okay. So, there's this whole thing about the strong female character and it's kind of gotten like way out of control where movies like really don't know how to approach that. Yeah. Um, and like, the one of the big discourses that's been... A, a thing that I've seen for years is like, how come they don't make it a strong female character like, like in like Sarah Connor or like, um, uh, what's her name from Ava- from Alien Ripley. Oh, Ripley. Yeah. Those are the two times that a strong female character has existed in a movie. It's like, a, okay, we're just gonna ignore any other movie that has ever had a good female character. But. Also, you have a James Cameron movie. Yeah, both I James Cameron movies. It's I like, think the first Avatar, I, is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. Natira should be on that list. Oh, for sure, yeah. Because <laughs> she's great. And I think she's so great, I didn't even think about that. Exactly, yeah. that's what's brilliant about it, is she's like, it's, she's a warrior, you don't like, never, you never don't buy that. She's like a badass the whole movie. She's good at fighting. She's good at riding the thing. She's good at shooting arrows. She kills the main bad guy and saves oh, the yeah. hero, even yeah. though she's the princess. And like, oh, no, it's the other way around. yeah, like, and it's not even like addressed as like, oh look, we're subverting or something. It's like, no, she's just cool and badass. And that's right. it. So that's the, yeah, James James Cameron has this great way of doing things where he just makes them good instead of drawing attention to the fact that they're good. Yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like that. I wish that she got a little more to do in this one. I think is my point. So there's a cameraism in this one. I don't know if you you notice this because it's really subtle. So there's the bit in the so in the Terminator movies. Yeah. You you know the bit where I didn't notice this until like the like fifteenth time I watched Terminator two. <laughs> but, um, there's a bit where um. Kyle says, I love you, Sarah. I always have. Yeah. So in Terminator 2, when Sarah goes to kill... Miles dies. <coughs> Drink water. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
Keep going. She goes to kill Miles Dyson. Okay. And then John stops him, and she's like, "You came here to like stop me." And he's like, "Yeah," because like this is bad. And she's like, "She says I love you, John. I always have." And so it brings back that yeah, idea yeah. from the first one. And it's a great scene. Mm -hmm. And they try to do it in Avatar 2, where he says, I see you to his son. Right. But it's not the same thing, because I didn't I didn't get their, like, relationship the way that I got, like, you know, Jake and Atiri's relationship in the first one, where he's, like, this, yeah. like, this is the first time she's seeing him as a human, and he's, like, just this disabled guy, like, <laughs> right. out of breath. <laughs> yeah. And she inherently, like, hates humans, but she's like, but she's you know, still, like, I love this man. Like, yeah, I, I still don't, like you. I don't love yeah. him just because he was blue. Like, this is yeah. who I fell in love with was just this guy. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes that scene so good. Yeah, and they kind and of... It still works. Like, that scene holds up. Oh, like, yeah, no, I still like that. Um, when she's holding his tiny little baby body. <laughs> his tiny little baby body, yeah. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, but it's just like, yeah. it's, it's a great, it's, it's, no, it's it like works. saying where the, you know, she's got to save him. And... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I really like the moment where she like only kind of gets how the mask works, you know? Oh, yeah. And she's like, I know it was supposed to go on your face somehow, but. And then he has oh. to kind of fully put it on. Yeah. That's another visual storytelling. Thing, yeah, or, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also in this one, they don't have, remember in the first Avatar where, um, Whenever they go on Pandora, the air looks like Mirage and like different than like oh, right. from normal when air. They, yeah. Yeah, from when they like first get out of the that's ship. That's not in this movie at all. Yeah, not really. I don't think there's ever like really a place for it, but like I just thought that was Yeah. Unique. Yeah, I don't know why you would <clears throat> show that exactly. Yeah. I guess it's because it's like it's between the like airlocks and stuff, so it's yeah. like the air this isn't really... is like getting changed or something. There's only the about that. scene with um, Spider when he's like captured, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and Gaspire, the so the last Jedi vibes come in where like it's like all the special effects and stuff are great and then like Spider kinda gets like a Ray arc in this movie where it's like yeah. Is he gonna defect? No. Okay, I guess that was his arc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he stays the same. He kinda ends up where He goes he on this was. journey where he's kinda with the bad guy and the you bad don't know guy, maybe you don't know who's gonna turn guy. who and then uh, both of them survive and don't turn each don't other. Turn each other. I guess we'll see if that continues in the next one. Yeah. Yeah, he has like and a thing. And like all the villains die except for the one bad guy. Except for the one bad guy. The one or, is the, bad guy. or is the whaling guy going to come back with a robot arm that shoots her yeah. wounds or something? That'd be pretty fun. I was really hope. I hope there's an R rated cut where he gets cut like cleanly in half and it's yeah. like really violent. No, I think they're going to bring him back because why okay. else would you. Why else would you not kill him yeah, in that a, scene? That's a good it's question. It's a classic like. Fisherman, like, oh, I lost, I lost my arm. Yeah, I'm like a more of a, even more of a stereotypical like pirate captain. Yeah, yeah. Pirate, fisherman. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a full like pirate. Like hook kind of arm thing. or something. That's yeah, what I think it's gonna yeah. do. Yeah, that makes sense. Because they would just cut him in half if not. Right, right. that's a good point. <clears throat> I love all of the violence in this. Anytime <laughs> someone. Yeah. There's people getting yeah. like that was... spe speared by like these like they're yeah. not just spear sized they're like double spear sized so they're just like, right it's, like, they're yeah just, so they're like they're really hard. getting skewered yeah <laughs> yeah because their like, arrows are big enough that they're basically spears so they're getting spears they're getting like, staked really, basically yeah, fucking... like on the like impaled by like like those kind of like stakes yeah. yeah that was one of the things that like just hopping on the wall oh stab someone that like, I really enjoyed yeah um and the James Cameron does really well it's like there's something about I don't know, I can't, there's some video I saw I watched yeah. where they were talking about action sequences and, like, one of, some of the things that make action sequences good is, like, you know, having, like, emotional character beats or whatever and yeah. stuff like that. But one of the other things is, like, just pure, pure, like, spectacle, like, novelty, like, I've never seen this in a movie before. And I think this, and I think this movie did it, and James Cameron does a lot of that stuff where it's like, oh, there's a helicopter like flying under a bridge and and uh, and, and they're chasing a and there's a, there's a robot truck full of liquid nitrogen. And yeah, and then, then he gets frozen by the and he's made of metal, it's liquid metal. But so then he gets frozen by the liquid metal. And then he gets shooted and he gets exploded. But then he melts and he comes back and now he's like all that stuff is like I've never seen this in a movie before. And it's just cool. He's gonna duct tape the gun to the flamethrower. Flame like he's just good at that. And this this movie's like, okay, so they uh, they're they're they've joined with the the water tribe avatars, and they're they all ride these like fish 
things, but the fish things can like fly a little bit. They can fly and swim. And swim. Cool. So they're even cooler than the last ones. And then the bad guys are on this like boat, right? And the boat has like little boats with like harpoons and stuff. And also they have like subs. And also they have like crab subs. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fighting them. And then they have like an evil avatar who's on a flying thing. And then uh, Natiri's her. She's on her flying dragon thing. And they're gonna fight. And then the fish are gonna jump out of the water and like stab a guy. And yeah. then like the crabs are going after them. And then little little girl um uh ripley is gonna is gonna connect to the 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 plants and plant bend and the plants are gonna come up and grab the guys from the sub and it's just like got all these like crazy things in one big action sequences and i'm like i've never seen any of these things before in a movie (laughs) this is fun i'm having a good time so like that yeah element i think was like this is cool i've never seen like a big battle like this that has like so many different things going on and different types of units. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, no, for sure. I think there's if you uh, do, I think if you do the bare minimum for the emotional work, you can show me like the power really cool of getting skewered. And I'm in, like, still gonna have a I'm good still, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that. So I don't know that part, that aspect of it. I thought was cool. Just like oh, this was like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's fun that they just kind of let James Cameron do whatever he wanted, uh, even if what, whatever he wanted was just like a bunch of weird fish. I think it's. I think Avatar Two is already on top ten movies. Is it top ten already? I know it's like climbing. Because it beat um it beat Top Gun. Oh okay wow. So and Top Gun was. Top Gun was very like eleven low. or something like. Very, yeah. All right, let's take it. Yeah, so we only get the highest person of all time. We'll take up the list. Yeah, let's look at the. Cause, yeah, that was the other thing was weird about this year was so, that like there was like no good blockbusters except for Top Gun and Avatar. Yeah, so Avatar <laughs> is uh, number nine. Number nine. Okay, yeah. so, so it'll, Top, Gun, it'll Top hit... Gun was number twelve. So it was Top yeah. Gun was at number eleven, and Avatar pushed it out. So yeah. Avatar: The Way of Water just pushed out um, the Avengers as of recently. The first Avengers. The first Avengers out of the number okay. nine slot. Where where. where where was Age of Ultron? Because I know it was up there. Age of Ultron is 14. Okay. Avengers so is 10. Infinity War is 5. And Endgame is 2. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. What's... Do, you to, do you want to read off the yeah, like, top Yeah, let me read them off. Because it's been... Yeah, top, let's do they, top 15. Because every couple of years, yeah. like, it changes. So I used 15, to know it all, but... Top 15. This is... It's, I think it's super fascinating. Most of these are owned by Disney, but yeah. the couple that aren't, it's like, that's really interesting. Yeah. So, 15 is Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 14 is Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. 13 is Frozen 2. Right. <laughs> 12 is Top Gun Maverick. Right. 11, Furious 7. Yeah, okay. The highest Fast and Furious That's the highest Fast and Furious movie, yeah. So 10, that was right after yeah. Paul Walker died, right? Yeah, so, so 10 yeah. is Avengers, mm-hmm. the first one. 9 is the new Avatar. 8 okay. is The Lion King from 2019. Oh, yeah, the remake. Oh, that's yeah. so upsetting. That one's If you think that's 10. upsetting, the next one is Jurassic World. Yeah. From oh, 2015. I already, I already knew that, but that one... Okay. I, I don't know. It was or that one was still early on in the like. Let's just put stuff that you are. Let's just yeah. do the thing you like. Yeah, again. it's it is kind of Force Awakens. It was that er, that was that same year. Same year, yeah. So similar era. Um, yeah. Number six, Spider Man No Way Home. Okay, wow, lot. that's higher than I. Yeah, realized. So it's for like, yeah. it's it's the highest post COVID movie to have ever come out. Yeah. It's 2021. Every movie. Yeah, that's the other, that's the other Every thing. other movie on this list is pre COVID. Yeah. So that's so really that's an Yeah. And also, like, well, COVID's not over, but, like, it, it was later in the in the cycle of COVID where yeah. people were like, I'm just going to treat it like it's over now. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it was still, there was, like, there was still I, significant, I had yeah. to get my, to see this movie, I, I, I was, I hadn't been, this is the first time I went to a theater mm-hmm. seeing No Way Home because, um, I, uh, like COVID happened and like I had like you know like a baby on the way and then the baby yeah. actually there but then I'm like okay like I haven't like I've been good I haven't gone to like any movies <laughs> my baby's like a little older now 
yeah. and like I'm not gonna go all night. I'm just gonna go to the earliest show I can. Yeah. And I'm gonna wear my mask the whole time <laughs> and not talk to anyone. <laughs> and I gotta bring my COVID like my vaccine passport right. or whatever. Yeah, I think we do. We still have to bring your passport yeah, to see so the movie. They, at like, that point? They, they were changing yeah, how okay. movies, uh, like the rules of movies, right, like, still kind within of... like it was fluctuating every couple of weeks when this movie came out. Yeah, so yeah. I think ultimately that's very impressive. That given, is very given impressive. the circumstances. That's much more than I realized it got. I know it did well, yeah. but no, I didn't. I thought it was like not even on the top ten. Yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't realize it, it cracked the top yeah. ten. So yeah, number they were in the top five. No, so five is. Avengers Infinity War, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Or is Star Wars: The Force Awakens? Yeah, okay. And that's the highest grossing Star Wars movie. Yeah. Um, Last Jedi came in at seventeen. Yeah, it's still that one yeah. still did well, and even Rise still hit a billion, but it just didn't like do as well because people. Yeah, were Rise of Skywalker is at thirty six. Yeah. So definitely. Which is still awesome. like. Impressive, like it is impressive, but not, don't, but yeah, it's it not def- 17 it's or like, four. <laughs> it could have easily gone more because, like, the uh, the Avengers movies like have almost gotten more each time, except for Ultron. But uh, aside from that, like, they've gotten up each time yeah. almost. Yeah, it was definitely so, a very interesting list. Um, so sequels can tend to generally do more. So then, number three is Titanic, right? Titanic still, still top three, still number three. Yeah. Um, but which that, is, that which was is a big all, deal because it's been in the top two before. Yeah, it used to, well. Yeah, it used to be top the top two, two since nineteen ninety seven. Since well, yeah. This is the mo- only movie on the top ten list to come up before the year two thousand. Yes, which is also extremely impressive because it's a big part of this list is um, not considering inflation. Inflation mm, is a totally different yeah, list. Yeah. Because this so this is when movie this is before like movie. Yeah, I think costs, it counts. Like, it counts re-releases, but yeah, I think that's, that's okay because it's it's the same game. movie. Everyone you're can, just making more money with everyone the same can, movie. You, anyone can re-release a movie. Yeah, so that's fair. Yeah, I think. Um, so then two is Avengers Endgame, and right. then one and Avatar. One Avatar, Avatar ended up beating it out at some point. Yeah, they it got re-released in like China for like a week or something, yeah. and that was enough to beat at I heard Avengers. That, um, and then it came back again a few months like a month or two before the new one yeah so that probably just helped yeah, it a little bit more over, yeah so it's only not oh my gosh only yeah yeah the, the avatar is only like 150 uh, million more than avengers and <laughs> yeah it's which like is still which is, which is a lot of money that's insane yeah um so and those are yeah. all is titanic over 2 billion so yeah and titanic is 2.2 2 billion end game is it's it's two point seven nine billion. Yeah. And then Avatar is two point nine billion. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I heard that, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that um when Avengers Endgame topped Avatar, a bunch of fans of Avatar like figured out like that if you like there was some somewhere you could like buy it, kinda rent it like Prime similar kind of deal, maybe from YouTube or something, but like proceeds from that apparently went towards like the like total budget and so people would like stream avatar like 24 <laughs> 7 in their house and like buy this stuff to like help like increase the like the value uh, of it i don't know if that's true but i think it's funny if it is that's funny I do, there definitely is like a weird there definitely was a lot of weird sentiment and i think it's like i don't know what it is actually to be honest because it's like i guess it's people that are like uh oh, fuck marvel we've seen enough marvel you know what's really cool James Cameron, I like him. Yeah, he's a real filmmaker. I'm sorry, yeah, it's a little it's like, derivative, but it's not based on a book or yeah. a, you know, TV show. Yeah, it's technically or, an original it's, script. It's an original script, which yeah. is yeah. which is interesting, but it's also a product owned by Disney. So just being like, oh, Avengers made money. Well, I'm gonna go see Avatar ten times yeah, to like, to beat it. It's like both those both of those just go back into so giving unless Disney money. Jurassic World. Is owned by Disney? No, it's Universal. So that's the only. So only that's the only ones. non-Disney movie on this list. Well, hey, what about Titanic? Who's Titanic? Well, wouldn't that be maybe that's the other one? I guess. Yeah, yeah Titanic might be the other one. It's the most. It's interesting because that one was that was the one to beat, but it's the base anomaly on this list now. Yeah, yeah, which is also it's crazy, and that's the other thing is it's like James Cameron is the only one to have beaten himself other than Avengers, which is a massive franchise. And Taylor Swift. <laughs> She's doing really well right now. <laughs> That's true. First artist to have all top ten songs be ten of her songs. <laughs> right now? That happened a while back. Oh, okay. It was something that happened at one point. That's amazing. Well, yeah, Taylor Swift was pretty impressive. Oh, and so it's the first time not only that that's happened, but it's happened for a while. This, this ship. I don't care about the ship. I'm trying to get the movie. <laughs> 
Can't make movie. There we go. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Distributed by Paramount Pictures and 20th Century Fox. So I don't think that counts as Disney because it was before. They were out. Which Avatar was also, but now there's like a theme park at Disneyland. It's an Avatar theme park or whatever. Avatar is a Disney franchise. I don't know. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, look, maybe I'm just dumb and I don't want to be challenged and I just want to enjoy something like because when I think about watching the first Avatar it's like it's a fun movie it like, is fun it's got it's just it's very like you just you kind of like you you know there's there's like an unspoken thing between your like your audience and your like creatives where you, the audience has to kind of have an idea of where things are going without knowing too right. much that they're gonna like you know not not enjoy what's happening yeah that's fair and like it is and the first Avatar kind of hits, it hits that balance of like yeah. very like classic like three act structure and like yeah. character journey and the big action scene the at, big the end fight at the end, end. And, but everything before it isn't boring either like it's <clears throat> I think it, it balances all those things well where this one I maybe I'll have to see it again and I think I, I'll probably enjoy it more if I do see it again because I, <clears throat> I have a better understanding of like what it is right but I think it's the the fact that it's it's not quite as traditional and it's really long and you it feel feels very long. I think there's like easily like thirty minutes you could have cut out of this movie. Yeah, I the first one doesn't even feel it doesn't down. even feel like a two hour and forty two minute movie. It's paced so well. Yeah, the first it, movie's paced incredibly yes, well. It is. I'll, 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 I agree. And so the pacing is is not there. <laughs> yeah, it's not not as not as well. Not as it's definitely not as tight. No. Um, for sure. And. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, take me on this journey, yeah. James Cameron. I'll submit to you. Tell me more about how much you love underwater, underwater and the sub yeah. submarine. Like, I want to do. I want to do Titanic in Avatar. Yeah. So. Well, that's the part is it's like, oh, we're gonna also put Titanic in this movie. There's gonna yeah, be a crazy cool. elaborate sequence where they're all, where they're all on a sinking yeah. boat and it's cool yeah. and it's like intense. Yeah. But also, apparently, there's this fish thing where you can wear it like a backpack. You can wear it like a backpack. And it lets you breathe underwater. It lets you breathe underwater. underwater and it gives you little and butterfly they, wings. And they, they only use it once in a movie yeah. that's mostly underwater. I mean, uh, that seems pretty It seems like a very useful thing to them. Maybe it only, only comes out during the... Why introduce it at all? Eclipse or something. Yeah, well, I don't, think they, I don't think this movie needed that. I like it because it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> but it's like, why why introduce it at all? Like, there's so many things where it's like, this is a thing. And yeah. It's like, great. Is that going to be important? Who knows? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. There is... I feel like it's, it's definitely like, I feel like part of it is like I'm almost, instead of like reading the like textbook about... You know, that you, like, get in your book order about, like, Pandora. Pandora, yeah. Like, here's, like, here's all the different fish you get. Here's the full compendium yeah. for Pandora. Right, yeah, the, like... Yeah. That's, like, put into the movie. In the movie yeah. Where it's, like, check out these spider yeah, robots the, like, that can build a building really fast. Check you get out, the, like, like... You can wear these fish like a backpack. And yeah, you get the, like, water. Star Wars and, it's like, character encyclopedias yeah. or whatever. It's, like, oh, here's Bosch. It's, He's a there's, whatever There's species. a page where it's, like, you see yeah. inside the whale and, like, all the different parts of it. Yeah. It's, like, that was just a scene in the movie. Yeah. Scene in the movie, yeah. <laughs> Did you know the brain juice stops human aging? Like yeah, it's yeah, like, it's the kind of thing you'd see on a wiki randomly, and you're like, yeah. what? How does that work? He's like, no, that's just in the movie. But it's just part of the movie, and I think that's why this movie is so long. Is because yeah, there's a lot of it's a wiki textbook. Yeah, that's true. Thing, and it's it's definitely I think it's definitely a product of someone not telling. <laughs> Not telling not your, telling your elite creatives, like nobody but you cares yeah, about yeah, these like, whales. I, <laughs> no, it, was, it was put well, like one of the like yeah. re, like reviews um, I had in film school for one of my movies. It's like you do like your pre-screening for like like a rough draft of a movie, mm -hmm. and something that they said to me was like 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 okay, like you you think this is like right. great and really cool. funny and stuff, but it's like people everyone else isn't as attached to this as you are, so like you need to like cut right. this down a bit so that like it can mm. have more of an impact and I'm like, okay, I understand that now. Right. And so I could no one told James Cameron that. No one told James Cameron yeah. that, yeah. And so <laughs> Which I think is also funny though. Yeah. That, that they're, I don't well, I don't know about funny if that's like, I I think it's interesting. That, For sure. It's that interesting. They're like, Hey James Cameron, here's a billion dollars. Do whatever you want with an Avatar sequel. And he's like, okay, I'm just going to be like six sequels. And it's going to be really cool. And they're going to be underwater for like most of it. And there's these backpacks that you wear. <laughs> 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 and like no one said like, well, that's a lot for one movie. They're just like, okay, yes, sir, Jake, Mr. Cameron. No problem. Yeah. 
but he also like kind of has that clout too. Cause like, what? Are, I'm sorry. Which ones? What are the top three? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh right, two of the ones I made. Yeah. We're gonna put. I'm gonna put a little Titanic into this movie and make it more What's about. What's number water? nine? Why not just yeah? Why not just make the next movie entirely in a boat? Well, I, I really, you know, I really want to, and yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> so. That'd be great. I'm on board for that. What if that was the plot? Is that there's this big boat? There's this big boat go, that's gonna it's go. It's on its way to go kill all of the the water navi, and so then the forest navi and the water navi gotta team up while it's like moving, and so the whole movie is this time trying to take out this massive boat. Like, they're trying to do. They're trying to cause the Titanic disaster. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's Titanic, but we're rooting for the ice, but the iceberg is the hero. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That would be pretty fun, yeah. And yeah. the boat is full of Stephen Langs that are blue. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole army. It's the whole army of Stephen Langs. Got to figure out Avatar yeah. three, everyone. And they can just reuse the sets from Titanic, like. Yeah. But they're just like. You still got those, I think. You just put some motion capture dots on it, and yeah. then it's a future ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like. It's it's neat because like I think I think you definitely have a point with that the first movie it's it's genericness drags it down in some ways because yes. it's like like with the sequel it's like you really want like who wants to return to the world yeah of who Pandora cares? like yeah. who cares about Pandora it's, like, it's oh, not well, we're gonna... it's not Middle Earth or like yeah Star Wars like it's like <laughs> oh yeah let's not eat that. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it ne- I think on some levels it needs a little it bit needs, more like world the, building the, and since stuff this going on. has come out, it's like, oh, like, this is there's <coughs> there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, there's a little more to it. <laughs> I think it makes it more exciting the mm-hmm. prospect of returning. So. Yeah, and it, yeah, especially if you're gonna make a couple more movies, then you kind of need to have these different characters and these different ideas. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Overall, I kind of like. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. I could, I could be, I could turn out to be wrong though too, because like, there's. You can't be wrong for liking something. No, but I mean like, okay, yeah, but I mean like, I'm like no, but in the next one it'll like all pay off, uh, and like, I, I don't know that. <laughs> it might not. I, I can still, can I still take it even if it does pay off in the next one. I will yeah. still. I still think. That, I'll take it. Still take that as a flaw for this one because I think movies should be good on their own. Right. Way. That's totally fair. Even like Empire has a cliffhanger, but that movie has complete character arcs. Yes, but it also has everything yeah, makes it sense. Still that has a good stuff. You're not like there's no mystery boxes in Empire. No. Well, no, that's true. There there's is so a, many mystery boxes. There is a cliffhanger, but there isn't. Um, yeah, there isn't like a, a core unanswered thing that like leads the plot the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, like, we don't, we still don't understand theory, like, yeah. Like, the, there's enough, there's enough that you can, of, you can make your own you make theories, your predictions and there's, like, it's gonna be one of the three things that people are guessing. Yeah. And, we're not sure if, like, mostly I think she's I feel like that. there was some kind of, like, <laughs> like, this whole big thing goes down and then, like, there's no kind of, like, follow-up between the characters after, so it's like, right. the spider, like, is he, gonna, like, is he, like, worried that, like, Materia's gonna, gonna kill him to sleep or something? Yeah, because like, remember that time that she, she definitely threatened, threatened him, threatened him at knife point, and, like, they weren't, there wasn't a scene where she was, like, hey, I'm I did sorry. that, I did that as a joke, I'm glad it works, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, that's, a, that, like, that, I kind of feel like is a flaw for this. It's like, oh, Kiri, <laughs> you're not gonna have seizures anymore, because you mastered the thing. Right. That scene's not in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, why didn't she have a seizure during that final battle? Yeah, that would have been one why make a big deal about why does she have a seizure? The, is so that they can find them? Is that why? I guess because the, the villain is Western medicine. It's like no, no, it's not the doctors <laughs> that are they're gonna save her. It's gonna be the it's gonna be Mr. Miyagi rubbing his hands together. Yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. I was literally. Oh I, yeah, it's kind of that, yeah. but it's also like their well, it's like their planet and their culture and stuff, and they actually do kind of know more about whatever's going on with her than. The scientists from Earth exactly. who don't really yeah. understand this planet that well. Yeah. So why even call them in? Because it's I don't know. It's Jake's friend. And he's like, she's sick. I gotta call the doctor. And the doctor is Norm. Grew, Remember Norm? I guess they grew him a new avatar. Yeah, I was thinking that also. I was like, did they forget? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they get to grow him a new one. And it's been enough time that, yeah. that they that Stephen Lang grew a whole out new avatar, so yeah. they could have grown him a new yeah. one. And so yeah, that's like sure. Yeah, I guess that yeah you did. 
coming back to like kind of movies as a whole, it's like, oh, so there's this time jump, jump and it's like, it seems like, you know, the humans and the avatars are like pretty much in like a, the humans and the Navi are in like a, they're in like a, they're in a, they're in like a stalemate right now where it's like, right. they both seem to be able to coexist and so it's like, oh, like Stephen Lang, this is like their ace in the hole, but it's like not really, uh, it, seems like, <laughs> yeah. it seems very, it seems very petty and revenge based as opposed yeah. to tactical. <laughs> Yes, so, that is definitely like a weird. So thing. that's the pre- the premise uh, of the movie is based kind of off of something very petty and revenge based, yeah. Yeah. which could be fine. But then the like, but it's like it wasn't like it wasn't really Stephen Lang's idea to have like a revenge avatar just in case. It was like no, the corporation like was like yeah, we'll put you in a thing just in case, and then you could get revenge later, and then we're gonna like specifically call you in to get revenge, so that we can. Continue work. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's yeah. kind of flimsy. Yeah. I'll agree to that. Um, um, I like the character stuff that it ends up leading to. Yeah. But the like base premise is kind of weird. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And so I, I think I just wanted to I wanted to understand that more. It's more even like yeah. oh like now that we're gone or they're attacking. Like, yeah. Even if they kind of acknowledged yeah, it, maybe it might have been better. It's no. like maybe it's like oh well they're kind of gone now. So actually we don't need you to kill them anymore. You can. Just chill out or whatever, whatever you want to do. We don't really care. Yeah, like, well, I'm going to get revenge anyways. Yeah, and, I, lo- yeah. I thought that was going to... Because the whole point of him getting the dragon was that they're, they're, they can't fly up there, but dragons right. can. Yeah. And so, wasn't, the, wasn't they going to... They're going to make a whole army of evil avatars to ride dragons so they can do a raid on the good guy base. Yeah, that makes sense. But it seems to just be the I thought that it's so like... Far. I thought that that, that was, was what it was leading. That to? was what it was leading to is that they're gonna be like, right. okay, Stephen, like even if they had like one extra scene, they're like, okay, Stephen Lang, we need you to like ro- teach people how to tame these dragons because right. we, we can just make a whole bunch of these. We'll teach them all to tame dragons, strap guns to them, and we'll go take out their base. He's like, but Jake Slay's not there anymore. Yeah. He's like yeah, no, we don't care about. Yeah, that. we don't care about. We, we want to kill them. He's like, well, I care. Well, about I care about. And then him. he goes he off, goes off. And, and meets makes friends with the whalers, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm commandeering this because I'm the villain." Because like, I'm if that's what was, that if even, yeah. even that was what happened, I would be like 110 percent right. on board with this movie. Yeah, I think but because that's not there, I become more confused about the overall goals right. of things because it of seems like the, the corporation's like, "Yeah, petty revenge." Yeah, we're all on board for getting petty revenge on Jake Silly. <laughs> Screw that guy. <laughs> he didn't kill me, but I know he killed you. So yeah. I'm sure you care about this a lot, but I, I also care about it for some reason. Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, and if they literally just like put that distinction between him and the rest His of the guys. His own goals, and then yeah. you're like, oh no, I understand. Right. Where you're okay. It's just now. he just wants revenge. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That yeah. Makes revenge sense. is easy. That's simple. Yeah. I, I understand that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I saw him die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like it's like something where I could even say like, oh, it was good or it was bad. It was just like. There's a lot in it. There's, there's, a, lot lot of, of, there's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of stuff I, I don't understand uh, yeah. that I want to. Um, and maybe they'll maybe they'll flesh it out later, but mm-hmm. I'm frustrated they didn't do that now. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know if there's any other uh, things um, to address. There's. I mean, not mostly just, I still think Jay's character is a very good filmmaker. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, yeah. very well done sequences and stuff. That it's like, yeah, no, Jay. He does know what he's doing, even though there's a lot of weird blue people going on. <laughs> but uh, in terms of like action sequences and stuff, it's like yeah, no, that's that's all cool and, and good. And the effects are great. So if you're if you're gonna take another ten years to make another movie, James Cameron, fine, I'll I'll check it out. Uh, I just hope I he's like doesn't die before these other <laughs> these other ten movies. That's my out. biggest concern right yeah. now. Cause he's you like, gotta do a like George Martin situation where it's like, well, I hope he lives long enough to finish yeah. the series. <laughs> yeah. No, but that definitely, yeah. Even, yeah. Yeah. Well, how long have we been going? An hour and three minutes. That's, oh, wow. oh, no, an hour and 30 minutes. I'm oh, reading it upside down. Yeah. That's pretty long. That's pretty long. That's not... Want to call it for, for Avatar today? Avatar 2, what did you think? Leave a comment. <laughs> 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 bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>